Rick B's Daily Vlogs. In the city of San Carlos, California, in front of this Burger King, checking out this old vintage helicopter. Engine looks like it's all still intact, but I will not be flying in this. We're headed up south because of a toy convention. But first, must get food. Let's get this started. interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. In the city of San Jose, I have this San Jose Super Toy Convention Collectible Toy, something like that, something like that. But we're headed to the San Jose or Santa Clara Fairgrounds. Let's see what they got. Let's go. Sign says it, Toy Show Today, comic books. And there's the entrance. And in case you get hungry, grab some street vendor hot dogs right there. There's the admission price. If you got here early, you pay 15 bucks, but you're paying 10 today. And in case you're interested, if you ever watched The Warriors, Deborah Van Vengberg and Michael Beck is here. And so is comic book writer Derek Riggs. Wonder how they look at their old age. Let's find out. There's a bunch of toys here to check out. The many Funkos, and look at the prices on these. $250. That's more my, well, actually, that's more my price range right there. But the Funkos, they also got WWE, The Ultimate Warrior, Kane, Brock Lesnar, and some open items for five bucks. And if you're into Stranger Things, they got 11. Will and the Demogorgon. And they even have Jordans. You want some Jordans? They have them here. It's Deadpool. Deadpool. They got more Funkos. This is Funko Galore. Look at the Godzilla. Godzilla. Let's see what else they got inside. They got a Voltron up there, and over here they got a Megazord. Pretty cool. Deborah, Ben. Vulcan signing autographs over there. And over here, you have Mr. Riggs signing his comic books. Pretty cool. A table full of keychains. $3 each. That's what they said. Pretty cool. Look at this Star Trek one right here. It's pretty cool. And on and on. We just started in the beginning. But check out these old vintage looking toys right here. Old bike right there the old car these ones are all still in boxes pretty cool the old WW back then WWF wrestling figures this is Rowdy Rowdy Piper there's a bunch more in there but this was the one to have the hoaxster himself that was the best one to have they get a jumbo bender Shogun Warriors 400 bucks it's okay it's okay Cool piece to find if you ever find it. If you ever hear, check them out. If you're interested in some old VHS tapes and some old cassette tapes, some old 12 inch vinyl, they have them here. They have them here. And look at that Def Leopard one. Some old vintage pins as well. Alien versus a Marine. We can go as far back as Charlie's Angels. Check them out. They have all three original Charlie's Angels and uh, OJ Simpson, San Francisco native football doll right there, and a signed Sports Illustrated book. Look at these old vintage ponytail trays right here. If you grew up, you guys know what I'm talking about here. But they got zombies, 
galore. Just in time for Halloween. You guys remember these old magnet things back in the days? You got to try to put a beard and hair on the Wolfman. They had different ones. Wolfman, Dracula. Man, all these old nostalgia toys back from my days. And just in time for Halloween. The new Michael Myers or Halloween movies coming out. They got all this little Halloween stuff right here. Pretty cool. Look at the old Jason. You got Chucky. And then you got Five Nights at Freddy. Pretty much a life-size figure of him. And look at the gremlin. That is sick right there. That is cool. An old school vintage Millennium Falcon. They have two of them. This one's missing the cover for the front. This one has it. Old school Millennium Falcon. And if I'm right, this is the one where this pops out and the characters go in there. What's your name? Who are you? Now if I'm going to buy anything, it's going to be Buddy the Elf. And more Funkos galore in this place. Funkos everywhere. They have a Captain Crunch. Look at this big old tank. This is original back in the days G.I. Joe. This one already says sold. That one in the back says sold also, but man, check how big that is. This is a big size. That's cool. This was toys back in the days. More vintage G.I. Joe figures. A lot more. And she just walked while I was filming. How rude. Vintage G.I. Joe walkie-talkies from back in the days. With a vintage skateboard on this table. Look at that vintage Mickey Mouse tambourine. They have so many things in a place like this. So many. Danos. Danos. We're in the Disney pin collection. If you know me, you know how I am when it comes to Disney and pins. So let's see what they got. And a toy convention would not be complete without the mystery machine. Made my first purchase. This Hulk 10 inch Thor Ragnarok. They got Pac-Man Funkos as well if you're into Pac-Man. How cool is that? They got some cool shirts. In case you need the player manual. Or if you wanna Come back from Wakanda. And my favorite park in the whole San Francisco, they got a shirt. How cool. This place is cool. Overwhelming. So many cool things. So many cool stuff. Nostalgia toys from back in the days when you were kids. Even new stuff. Really cool toys. Definitely recommended. This place is cool. Definitely a lot of things to do. You got comic books. You got Funko Pops. There's a lot here. Definitely got to come it out. It's a two-day event. We're here on a Saturday. If you're watching this, it's going to be on a Sunday. You get the bracelet. You buy it on a Saturday. You get in again for Sunday for free. There's other, there's other times and other events that's happening. I'll post their website down below. This is the second event that they're having this year. They have another one coming up towards the end of the year. Pretty cool. Yes, I spend that much on the big size Dobby. I had to get them. I had to. Money well spent, I guess, for Funko collectors. That was cool. San Jose, Santa Clara Convention Center here in San Jose. Again, two-day event. We came here on the first day, which is a Saturday. They have one again on a Sunday, and they have them four times during the year. This is the second time they had it this year. They have two more times till the end of December that they have it. Come check it out if you haven't. This place is cool if you're into toys, Funkos, anything nostalgic from back in the days. If you're willing to drive out here, pay. There is an entrance to pay to get in and an entrance to pay for parking. But worth it, worth it. All right, guys, thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to explore what San Jose has to offer. First thing I think of is pho. 
that's where I'm going. I'm gonna get some pho. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had fun on this toy adventure here in San Jose. Thanks for watching, guys. Vlog's ended. Go in peace.